The workshop today in Port Moresby, organized by the Department of Works and the Australian Transport Sector Support Program, aimed to get partners and stakeholders to contribute ideas and solutions towards creating better and safer road networks in the country. The plan is to get partners such as the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank and the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, amongst others, involved in mapping out strategies that will create an action plan for the next 20 years. The National Roadwork Strategy is a blueprint document that aims to set a milestone in the country, as far as the business of building roads and bridges in the country is concerned. Minister Michael Nally presented the government's views on roads and how it plans to implement the roads program through the National Department of Works over the next couple of years. After many failed attempts to have proper road network implementation plans, the goal now is to have a national road network strategy which will span from 2018 to 2040. This will now act as a guide for road maintenance and road network projects in the country. It is important that, th that this new long-term approach has the understanding and full backing of the whole government and central agencies like finance, treasury and the transport department and, pro and provide clear direction to our development partners. The document provides a sharp focus on ensuring accessibility uh, for the road network which is central to our strategy of utilizing sustainable approach to improve our road network in the country for our future generation. On national road network, uh, our national road network connects businesses and communities and is a driver for eco economic and social development for inclusive growth. The minister said funding has always been an issue. But the idea now is to be smart and work in collaboration with partners to solve some of these funding constraints. He wants these partners to have their inputs and also have their funding aligned with the government's road plans, so the outcomes are fruitful for all parties concerned. We can't say that we can uh, fix up all the roads uh, to standard, but at least to acceptable standard. Uh, we need very close to 1.6 billion a year to keep our roads up to standard, 50% uh, in very good uh, condition and 50% uh, to, to fair. We need, we need that kind of money. Unfortunately, uh, the Department of Works does not get that kind of money. I think the maximum, uh, the minimum that uh, we are picking up uh, is uh, below 300 uh, million, uh, which is uh, not enough. PNG has more than 30,000 kilometers of roads, with around 8,000 of it being prioritized as having economic and social benefits. Secretary David Warris said there have been plans in previous years, but funding has always not been enough. He said the last five years has seen the department set achievable targets based on these, and investment priorities in these specific areas have been selected. 16 key roads in the country will be looked at for maintenance purposes over the next six years as part of an overall plan under the new road network strategy. We build uh, so many roads, we've come to a point where it's very hard to maintain because of the fact that uh, the resource envelope available is very limited. Part of the problem is inadequate funding in timely manner. We've allowed the portals to grow bigger. We've allowed the drainage to block. We've allowed the uh, culverts to become corroded and bad. And I think we have come to a point where it's a bit difficult even to address these issues. We have 30,000 kilometers to manage and maintain. 21,000 kilometers is the provincial road network. It's a large portion of the uh, old network that we manage and 8,500 kilometers of the uh, national road network. We need enough money to do enough work. Uh, over the last past 10 years from uh, 2000 to 2008, 
we had a 10 year program and I must say that it was done in collaboration with Department of Transport as well as Works and NRA. Uh, we put together this uh, program. Let me say that not much of the targets we set were achieved. We were able to achieve the targets we set simply because there wasn't enough funding to do so. The Deputy Works Secretary Gabriel Tomtai provided some statistics and key challenges faced by the department in the road network sector. The department will now try to break the priorities of these roads into phases, so plans can be easily implemented. Sit down and see how best we can standardize that. I really need to look there at the financial approach one of them, the main the key challenges that we have. Again, somebody mentioned about the new infrastructure, uh, built for infrastructure rather than maintaining, maintenance of the existing roads and bridges, and obviously the increasing impact of our climate change. Minister Nali acknowledged the support of the partners involved, adding that the full cooperation of the national government will be involved in the sector. He says the strategy will provide a sharp focus on ensuring PNG's accessibility of the road networks is central to our strategies of utilizing sustainable approaches to improving the country's roads for future generations.